Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today it's all about organizing under a cabinet, so let's get started. So friends, I thought it would be fun to just share with you my process for organizing under our coffee bar area um, in the office. It's something that I've tackled recently and I would love to share with you how uh, we store kind of bulk items because even in our home sometimes we store bulk items uh, for certain things that we go through really fast or if you work in an office and your break room's a disaster, this may be helpful in kind of a, a type of system that you can use in order to kind of organize uh, that crazy space. So let's jump right into my coffee bar area in the office. So friends, this is a space that we come to in the morning to grab our morning coffee along with that afternoon coffee for many of us. And because it's more than just myself using this space, I like to stock up on certain items so that it saves me time uh, for having to keep reordering and, and things like that. And it's always available for the team. Uh, there's just basics that we need. And because the office is not extremely large, um, we have to maximize space. So we kind of have to combine uses. So this you know, really can't be an area solely for coffee items. So I have to get the best use out of the space. So I wanna take you through to share with you how under the cabinet um, is going to come together. So first, let me show you the empty space. And as you can see, it's your typical under the sink kind of cabinet. Uh, you have the piping that always gets in the way. So one thing that I love to use is I love to use um, the Ikea bins because they're really helpful in being able to stack items and easily get to them. They are also white and they come in that clean look that I love and they're simple to label and then remove the label if I want to adjust it. I also like that it has the little hole because it's easy to grab items um, because they're stacked. It makes it easy to grab them down. The next thing is I have bins for each one of the items. So the first item is for our coffee creamers. And so I have these um, stacked in here so that it's easy to refill on top of the counter, but we can also easily get to them down here and we can easily see when we get low. Now the next one here is for sugar. So when all of the sugar comes in, we pack it in here and then we keep a supply on top uh, for daily use and we can kind of refill from that point. And then the bottom one here are for our Keurig K-Cups because we have the Keurig in here and this is where we can go to get the extra K-Cups. And so in the larger bins, this is where I keep uh, the paper towels that um, go in the bathroom along with in the office area. It comes in a big box, so I need a bigger bin to be able to accommodate the storage when it came in. And so it really keeps them kind of um, neat under here. A lot, another thing that I do like about these bins is that it keeps the dust off things. So basically friends, as you can see, it's very simplified, but it works. It keeps things neat and in order. And a lot of times when we're organizing it, it's not anything that's complex, but you know, just um, having a simple system that works for you is what's most important. Because again, we all work differently. This right here works great for us. So one thing I love about this system here is it kind of blocks anyone from kind of cluttering the space because you can't really just put items in here. Everything has a place. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed seeing under our cabinet here in our little coffee area. If you have any questions, let me know. I also want to remind you that my book is out and ready for pre-order. I'll put the link in the description box below. It's available on amazon.com along with barnesandnoble.com. I also want you to leave me a comment. Let me know what is your preferred drink in the morning? What's the first thing that you get up in the morning and you say you have to have? You guys know it's a cup of coffee for me. So I'm excited to hear your answers. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this video. Definitely check back with me tomorrow for another At Home with Nikki video. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.